Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann and I'm doing a follow up video on Patch MD. So hang tight. about four months ago, about three, four months ago, um, I decided that I was going to try a topical patch for my vitamins and was concerned that I wasn't going to absorb the vitamins that I needed. And, um, I had some test results today that were pretty positive. So, um, I just wanted to follow up with you guys because I told you that I would on the first video. Um, you can find that linked up here somewhere. Um, I want to first make sure that you understand that this has not been approved by my dietitian. This is something that I chose to do on my own. Um, matter of fact, they suggested that I use the Celebrate brand because of the amount of vitamins that are part of that multivitamin supply um, with iron and D and um, B and all of the vitamins that I need. So when I was thinking about doing the patch MD, I needed to make sure that the amounts of vitamins that I was receiving were going to be equivalent to the Celebrate vitamins, which is what we were gauging my intake from. Um, and so I did that <clears throat> and they were the same. Matter of fact, PatchMD had a little bit higher on some of the uh, components than Celebrate did. And they were vitamins that were okay if they were a little bit higher for me, like vitamin D, that sort of thing. So um, I went ahead and I started using them. It was a very long trial. <laughs> because I didn't have my vitamins checked again now till my six month follow up for my bariatric surgery. And I had my vitamin levels checked last week and all of them came back awesome. So they are right where they're supposed to be. Um, my D was, a was so this is what my PCP said, not my surgeon. Um, my surgeon today said all my levels look great. My PCP had taken my vitamin D two weeks prior and they said that it was normal, but for a bariatric patient, they should be higher. Now, I also live in an area that we are known to have a low vitamin D because we have such long winters. Um, and so it's very common for us to take higher doses, doses of vitamin D in order to compensate for that. Um, so that didn't really surprise me much because I've actually been on high doses before um, to kind of boost my vitamin D level. So I want to let you know what I have been consistently wearing and using um, up until this point and what I might tweak and what I might stay the same. So right along, um, I have been definitely using the multivitamin plus patch, topical patch. Um, and the supplement facts and I would encourage you to go to patchmd.com to find out the nutritional facts. I mean, I can post it here. You could pause the video if it's not backwards and you could see what they are from here, but you might have a better chance of going to their website and just checking from there. Um, not only were they not recommended by my dietitian, I didn't ask about them first of all, okay? So it's not necessarily that they're not recommended, it's just that I didn't ask. Two, they are not FDA approved. Um, and so those two things really need to be made known upfront so that you know what you're risking. Um, because it is possible that some people do not absorb vitamins topically. And I could have been one of those people, but thankfully for me, I am not, and I am absorbing them very well. 
Um, what I tend to do is I will put them, um, if I'm doing day vitamins, I put them on my right arm, which there's four here. And if I have any night ones that I need to take, I will put them on my left arm. There's nothing there now, um, obviously, because it's during the day. Um, <clears throat> so I do take the multivitamin, um, and it is recommended that you do one patch per day. I would definitely consider the fact that some of the vitamins that are inside a multivitamin could potentially give you energy, such as B, B vitamins. Um, so taking them at bedtime might not be the best idea. I would definitely, you know, look it up, talk about it with your dietitian or your doctor um, and see if there's a preferred time that you take them. I, these are the four that I take during the day. Um, and I'll um, explain that to you because I do have one that I've been taking at night, but I'm going to be stopping it soon. Okay, so this particular one, the daily multivitamin, combines 27 essential nutrition, nutrients, minerals, and antioxidants all in one easy use to use patch. Apply patch daily to an area with little or no hair. Your shoulder, back, or hip is always great. Avoid using any lotion or cream in the same area as it will inhibit absorption. Patch is not waterproof. Now, I will say something about the waterproof. I had watched a video of a woman um, before I got these, and she said that you should definitely take them off before you take a shower. I didn't. Um, now, I don't know, and, and this may sound weird, but the patch does absorb the water, so it will get wet, and in my case, they got stickier when they got wet and they dried. Um, but I'm not sure if it's altering the vitamin that is on the patch. I'm not sure if it's washing it away, if it's, you know, I don't know. Um, but if I took a shower and I had put them on before, which happened um, multiple times because I got used to waking up in the morning, I take my thyroid medicine and I put my patches on. It's, it's kind of a routine now. Um, and then I would go take my shower and forget that I had put my patches on. So there were many times that I took a shower after putting the patches on and my vitamin levels are still good. So this is again, my experience. This doesn't necessarily mean this is gonna be your experience. Okay, so please remember that. Um, and then the other thing is you wanna make sure that when you are taking them off the sheet, okay, I typically will just start rolling it so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and waste one, but I will start rolling it off the top and you'll see how it kind of lifts. And then I'll pick it up and I actually don't have to take it off. Um, if it rolls onto itself, it's like tape and it will unfortunately make it very difficult to unroll once it's been rolled onto itself. Um, so I typically just start, try to start it and then I, I will pull it off. Um, the daily amounts is serving size of one patch. So everything that's on here, um, there's 10,000 vitamin A, 1,000 C, 5,000 D, 200 E, 160 K2, 25 B1, 25 B2, 40 B3, 25 B6, 400 B9, 1000 B12, 600 Biotin, um, panth Panthothentic, panthotent it's Calcium D, um, Acid is 25, Calcium, Calcium Citrate is 1500, Iron is 45, 100 for Phosphorus, Iodine is 150, Magnesium is 500, Zinc is 15, 15. Uh, selenium is 100, copper is 2, magnesium is 4, chromium, chromium is 200, um, mylobdenum, which is sodium mylobate, is 100, potassium 99, chloride 70, and boron is 3. 
So that's what's in the multi patch plus. Um, when you buy them, they do give you a 30 day supply. They have a lot of specials often um, to buy one, get one free, um, you know, percentage off. So definitely um, if I have a coupon or percentage off, I will post the link below in my referral links so that you can get the discount too if you if it's available. Okay. The next one that I take religiously is my vitamin D3 calcium. Obviously, it's super important. Now, I will tell you that I pair this up with my Viactive chews because I'm able to chew and it's kind of a food. It dissolves pretty quickly. Um, I'm able to do those. And so when my PCP called me to increase my vitamin D, I decided to take two of those along with this. So keep in mind, there is 5,000, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, 5,000 I use of vitamin D in the multi, and there is 2,000 I use of vitamin D3 in this, 1,000 calcium, which there is 1,500 calcium in the vitamin uh, multivitamin, and then 250 magnesium. Um, so, again, this is one patch. I do this during the day. This is actually probably one that you could do at night if you preferred to wear them at night. Um, I just try to get them all done at once. So I just put them all on during the day and I don't have to worry about putting them on at night. Um, so with, I like what it says. This is our body's manufacture vitamin D with the when the skin is exposed to UV radiation from sunlight, but the ability to do this decreases as we age. D3 maintains healthy calcium and phosphorus levels in the body for strong bones. It increases muscle strength in older adults, and it also plays an active role in healthy immune response. Um, so this is the vitamin D, vitamin D3 and calcium. Okay, here's the snapshot if you wanna take it. All right, the other one that is a must that I take is B12 Energy Plus. So this has all of the um, B vitamins in it. And this is one a day. B12 is an essential B vitamin that requires that's required for many bodily functions, including energy production, carbohydrate metabolism, and function formation of healthy red blood cells. B vitamins play a necessary role in supporting cardiovascular health, the promotion of a healthy nervous system, and uh, support normal muscle function. Um, okay, so this one has B1 has 100, B2 has 100 milligrams, B3 100 milligrams, B5 100, B6 100, B6 phosphate is 50, um, B9 is 400, B12 is 1000, and biotin 300. So B12 on my multivitamin has 1000, so that's giving me a total of 2000 B12, which is great. Um, and again, I do this once a day, and I do this one during the day because it provides energy. That's blurred or not. Okay. Um, so that, these are the three main ones that I take. The multi, vitamin D, calcium, and vitamin B12. These three I have to take. So no matter what I show you now are ones that I don't actually have to take. And I'll probably use them until they're gone and not replenish them. Um, and just go down to these three vitamins. However... I have been taking these vitamins right for the whole time. So I don't know, I might have to consider that because if my vitamin levels are good right now, then whatever I'm doing is right. And if I stop taking one, is that gonna make a change? So there is a menopause day relief and a menopause night relief. I don't have the menopause night relief on me right now. Did I even bring it? I don't think so. Um, so this is the menopause day release. And yes, I am in menopause. 
okay? And you'll notice that I say right arm on this one and that's because it's during the day. Right arm, day, left arm, night. Um, so the menopause day relief patch is a is the best natural all-in-one method of alleviating the challenging symptoms of menopause. One patch applied in the morning can help you help to ease a variety of difficult sy symptoms, including headaches, mood swings, heart palpitations, and hot flashes. This one has 400 of the B9, another 1,000 B12, 400 D3, 150 calcium, 100 phosphorus, and 100 selenium. Um, so all of these things I am getting in here, in these, um, at increased amounts. So the levels that my blood tests came back as were right like smack dead in the middle of the, of the range that you should be in. Um, so I could potentially be without these and still be okay. Um, there is nothing to say that you don't double up on any of these two if you needed to. So, I mean, if you're feeling low on energy, maybe you could put two B12s on you in, on a day. Um, I don't know. That's, I'm not a dietitian and I'm not a vitamin expert. Um, okay, so, and I don't have the, the night one because I think I'm done. I think I don't have any because I'm done taking it and I didn't replenish it. Um, so these are the four that I'm taking. Um, I'm very pleased with the fact that I got some great results. Um, and just wanted to follow up with you guys and let you know that, um, my results came back good. So I'm pretty excited about that. I, um, I'm going to continue using these. I'm going to try and get a lot of my vitamins through my, um, food as well to be even better um, at my eating and um, I just wanted to share that with you guys so look below you might have to scroll down a bit to find it but in my referral links there it should be a link there for patch MD um, so that you can get a discount so if it's not there I don't have a discount to offer you um, otherwise have a great night guys and I will see you on the next video Bye.